my, my interpretation was just to capture something that was kind of quiet <laughs> and silent in nature. I love the power of the location, the power of the waterfalls, the power of the jungle and the person in the image. I think for me capturing beauty has always been a, an aspect of why I've loved photography. Me interacting with nature takes me back to when I first was introduced to it as a child and I guess it's where I find the most solace and peace. It's definitely a, a life journey of, of reconnecting back to that natural space and the feeling that I get from that. The notion of beneath the surface for me was uh, an interest in looking at the, the skin which contains the body but also the skin of drawing and the conflation of those two surfaces together and the meeting point is the charcoal. I was trying to get Jason to lose himself in, in improvisation and in that loss of the containment of selfhood there's this kind of a, a dispersal of his being into the expanse of the painting behind him. I'm interested in examining how our neuroses and the unresolved parts of ourselves are actually the motor and the engine and drive for creativity. The body is a, 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 an erupting biological entity that has spillages and, and can't be contained in a, in, a, in, a, in a neat way. I used a traditional idea of honouring the subject, which is ancient, which is embellishing the subject with flowers, because they are monumental symbols of love. You know, there's a, there's a rich symbolism that goes through all of human history. Well, my connection to St. Teresa is really deep. She's also the patron saint of lost parents, and I am parentless. It's like a project that has grown out of proportion for me um, and I can't get off it. Uh, beneath the surface to me, I was intrigued by the incorruptible properties of nature, looking beyond uh, what we might normally consider to be beautiful and trying to maybe delve into something that's a little more philosophical. The thing that drew me to the waves was the simultaneously calm and incredibly turbulent feeling that the imagery gives you. As you start to look closer you begin to realise that it's the ocean and there's a tension that's relieved I think for the viewer as they, they start to understand more of what the picture is. 